Okay, here we are at Steiner Sports with just so many great Caddyshack items. And I don't know, someone's got to pinch me because I cannot believe, I cannot believe <laughs> that I am here. I am here in the signing room with Cindy Morgan. Oh my gosh. Cindy Morgan from Caddyshack, like the dive and the ties. Uh -huh. and a, it's, uh -huh. it's just, it's almost for me overwhelming. Wow. And just to get to meet you and, and I just... had no idea. All those things you said before are washed away now. Absolutely. <laughs> um, so I guess one of the questions is, I watched a movie over the weekend. Mm. We had Michael here earlier in the week, which was just incredible. Mm -hmm. And one of the things that we got, we got into was the nine week thing where how they do all of that, how they do that. Whole I thing thought it with, was less than nine weeks, but uh, yeah, he called it nine weeks. So the explosions and the boats and the how did they do it? The, how did they do it? Uh, the explosion was they got a gasoline truck. I've got pictures of it. They pumped gasoline into the mound. The people at, who owned the golf course didn't want it blown up, uh, so they sent to, sent them to a party. And while they were watching the news, they saw their golf course being blown up. And the next day, they painted it green, put a tarp over it, and blew it up again. Wow. And, and really... We were rolling day and night. I remember I woke up one morning, and I'm like, who's making noise outside my window now? Who's, who's being a pain in the neck now? And I go outside, ready to take somebody on. And they're filming a scene. My room was right next to the common room in the... In the uh, place we were staying and they were filming outside my bedroom the scene where the judge makes the bet with Chevy and I'm like all right I'm gonna have to let them do this so, <laughs> so I just go back to bed and put a pillow over my head they're filming let on the other side of the wall things just rolled round the clock things ideas would pop into Harold Ramis's head now Harold Ramis really was Lacey he would come over and he would whisper in my ear he'd go 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 do this over there and I'm like why? And he goes, just, just do it. And, and beautiful things would come of it. Well, Michael had said the same thing. He said that the Howard, you know, the Harold just oh. was just such an important influence. And Absolutely. Really just the understated, you know, Harold Ramis, who, when you really think about it, he was just so under, maybe appreciated. He was calm. Film. He had a good sense of humor, but he had a vision for what would make a scene funny. Okay. And, and, and for example... I was getting my makeup touched up. We're shooting in Florida. It's got to be 85 degrees plus. We've got the giant Klieg lights in the house. So it had to be upwards of 100. We're hot. We're tired. I'm doing love scenes with Chevy. Nobody's really happy to be there. And, and they're touching up the makeup because it's, you know, and, and, and um, Harold comes up and says, come over here. I said, now what? He goes, no, 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 no. Come over here. Go sit down next to Chevy by the piano and say, sing me a love song. I went, why? He goes, just do it. Just do it. So I, I sit down next to Chevy, and I go, sing me a love song. And I look, and just like I'm looking at this one, the, the, the camera lights on. I went, son of a gun. And he launches into, I was born to love you. Now watch my eyes. I had never, this scene was not in the script. It wasn't discussed. It wasn't even rehearsed. And I look at my, and I'm looking at him. He snorts the salt, throws the tequila, and launches into the song. And I went, they're shooting the scene. Those little, they're shooting a scene here, aren't they? And I saw the tequila, and I had some, and had a wad of gum in my mouth, and I blew a bubble in his face, and that, that was it. Wow. So if you ask me how it happened, I don't know. <laughs> that, that is kind of crazy. And uh, yeah. And the other thing is, is the dive scene, yes. which is really, I think, one of just the pinnacles of the movie, where you're there, you go The pinnacle of the movie. That was the first scene I shot. It was. That was the first thing I shot. I remember in the ladies' room, they had got me all set, and I was ready to do the walk past the pool, and I went, I can't do this. I had 12 years of Catholic school. I can't be this character. I'm not this person. And I went, i got to do it. i got to do it. And so I walked past, and all the guys sucked in their guts, and I went, well, they're buying it. And then I got to the board. Now, it's a high dive, and I, I'm not much of a swimmer, really not no kind of a diver. And in 1979, uh, I was wearing hard contact lenses, legally blind without them. So I had to take those lenses Ooh. out so I could climb that board, walk back and forth on it so they could light me, and then take the spring so they could cut to the real diver. And you were not the real diver. No, but I still had to take the spring oh. so that they could make the cut because you had to see that board bend, just, just, just the motion, just so they had enough. So they could go to the... No, I jumped, and I hit the water. It could have been cement, for all I knew, because I couldn't see it. But for 30 years, I thought you were the real diver, so you fooled me. Bill Carruth, the editor, made me look very good. 
He was always good at making me look good. Wow. Um, All those guys. I mean, you know, without them, it, it wouldn't work. I would imagine that the cast, the crew, everyone is still kind of like a fraternity, sorority. You run into the people. And Sometimes. I, I talk to Bill Cruz, the editor, a lot. Uh, we're, we're finishing up a, a, a book. But uh, the uh, uh, Harold, I ran into once in a while in Chicago. So stunned when he passed. It was, I, I, there was nothing to say. Mm -hmm. and, and I remember people were calling for interviews, and I just couldn't. I, 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 I talked to like one or two people I knew, and that's, right. that's and it. That was it. That was it. Um, uh, Bill, I run, Bill Murray, I run into a golf tournament sometimes, and uh, it's, it's like you saw him yesterday. How are you doing? Fine. How are you? Okay, good. Hey, you like your hat. It was, I was wearing a Cubs hat, so he's, you know. I saw when you, when you saw this one picture, and we'll just show it here, which is, it's just a great quality picture, but that, yes. does that put you back to the moment? Does that put you back like? You know, Bill and I, take you? you know, we did some promotion together. We were never actually in the same scene together, but Bill was like, we were both from, well, most of us were from Chicago, and he was okay. like a big brother, and he'd go, come here, you know, blah, blah, and he'd, he'd, he'd and then he'd, he'd get into the character in the scene, and I was flying on a wing and a purr. I had no idea what I was doing, but working with brilliant guys like this made it all happen. Uh, uh, just this product line, and us going out with it, and having Michael in here earlier, yeah. and then having you, and having the pin flags, and the golf balls, and... I just think what it's really going to give to our customers, who are most mostly probably sports fans. Oh yeah. But I think everyone has like that little bit of a caddyshack, and everyone <laughs> wants to take that moment away. And it is it is past a thrill to have you up here. You're you're Thank amazing, you. and you're just it's just really and you really understand the collectible market and the markers and the you know the <laughs> tricks and stuff like that. I know so way like, too much about you. You certain. know right exactly. So <laughs> probably when we're over here, I'm going to see if you want to like stay on full time. I mean. Could this really could, help we us could work something out. Yes. Product development and everything else. But Steiner Sports, great line of Caddyshack collectibles, and we are just literally humbled to have, have Cindy up with us today. Well, thank, thank you. you. <laughs>